the Japanese Citizens Association in Toronto stages its annual Cherry Blossom Festival. Post-World War II, Japan has gifted Toronto over 2,000 trees on five separate occasions. It's a very, very friendly relationship between the city of Toronto and the Metropolitan Tokyo. Now, 65 years after the first tree was planted, Japan's gift keeps giving. <laughs> the Japanese native sakura, or as we like to call it, cherry blossom, is once again in bloom. Uh, not every spring, so there has been a year in our history, which was 2016, I believe, where we didn't have any blooms at all, and that was primarily because of the weather conditions. That year we had a heavy, heavy frost that came through, and all of the blooms died off, and we had no blossoms and only leaves that came out on the trees. Every year in Toronto, the cherry blossoms attract a large crowd, many of who try to get a photograph of themselves with this Japanese beauty. This is awesome, like beautiful flowers. And yes. uh, rain is gone. It's just beautiful. Like it's a, it marks the start of spring, and it just so happens that it blooms around my birthday, so it makes it extra special for me. The sakura trees have been a high park tradition for years, but more recently, Zoomer Media yes. boss Moses Neimer planted Canada's only tree of forty fruit. Professor the Sam Van Aken is the creator of this tree. So the tree of forty fruit is a single tree that grows over forty different varieties of stone fruit. Throughout the majority of the year, it appears like a normal looking tree until spring when it blossoms in variegated tones of pink and white and crimson. The Tree of 40 fruit is expected to reveal all of its colors by next spring. But if you're in High Park before then, make sure to walk through the hillside gardens in order to see this living piece of art. In Toronto, I'm RJ Grubb for Zoomer News.